My name is Greer Nesbitt. I'm in the Masters of Oriental Medicine program at National and I'm in my seventh trimester as a clinical intern. It's really well supervised here. Um, you're never on your own. It's very much a learning clinic but you are also allowed to, to think on your own. Um, we are very busy here in the clinic and it's a great experience. Diagnosis is key in treating um, Chinese medicine patients because you have to know what you're treating in order to treat. Um, certainly you can place needles in what are called ashi points, the painful points, but here at National we really get a very thorough understanding of diagnosing a patient in terms of their signs and symptoms that they present with. Not only the signs and symptoms that they tell us, but also looking at their tongue and feeling their pulse, which are two basic fundamental systems of diagnosing in Chinese medicine. I love the herbal classes. Um, we know um, we get to learn the temperature, the taste, the properties of hundreds of different herbs. And later you start putting them into formulas and understanding how they all work together. In addition to acupuncture and herbal medicine, we're also learning moxibustion, also known as moxa. We're learning twina, which is a Chinese massage. We're learning gua sha, which is another type of massage uh, that uses a tool. And um, we're learning cupping. Uh, and we're also learning bloodletting. Mm -hmm. All techniques that are used uh, in Chinese hospitals to offer great relief to different conditions. I really do appreciate the solid curriculum of basic science here at National and in fact it continues through the whole curriculum of all the trimesters. Um, it's very well rounded, um, biochemistry, pathology, physiology, anatomy, pharmacology, microbiology, so it's very um, strong and very um, thorough information. Well, living in the U.S., all of our patients are going to be coming from a Western medical background, whether it's um, a diagnosis they receive, um, knowledge they have about their own body and, and health and wellness. So it's important to have both Eastern and Western um, knowledge backgrounds um, to be able to communicate with the patient and also physicians that are involved. So I live in the city and I do commute and I take I-290 and I do avoid rush hour and it takes 30 minutes or less each way. So the commute is very manageable and um, I have never um, regretted the decision to commute from the city.